Hi guys, I'm back with uh, this video and I'm really excited doing this video because as you can see I'm gonna talk about the Celtic Lenormand uh, which is uh, written by Chloe, Mc uh, Chloe McCracken and the artwork is done by Will Worthington. Uh, I wanted to get this deck since day one but because of various reasons I, you know, I didn't. So. Um, about a week ago, I it came. I, I bought it and it came on my mail, and I was really excited. I love this deck. It's all, my all-time favorite uh, Lenormand deck. I love the Celts, the Celtic tradition. So um, yeah, let's go and uh, see what the deck is all about. Um, the box, as you can see, is really sturdy. It's a really Good box to keep the um, the deck in. It become it comes from U.S. Game Systems. Uh, it's really good quality, and I am amazed. Let me see if I can get it open with just one hand. Just a moment. Here you go. Uh, it's a really good quality box. As you can see, there's beautiful artwork on the side of the box. And there's the place where you can put the cards in. And it's really, you know, I'm amazed at how detailed everything is. You know, as you can see, there's also this beautiful artwork, which can be seen on the back of the, of the cards, too. So it's really good quality. I will keep the deck in this box. It's really beautiful. And I, I love the, the artwork. I love the artwork, you know. See at the cover, the cover of the box. It's it's one of the women cards, so one of the lady cards. It's really beautiful. Now the guidebook. Let's go to the back guidebook. It's a uh, kind of like a white book, but it's amazingly done. So you can see there's a lot of there's a top quality on this book, and it goes through the cards, you know. Let's see, for example, here the dog goes through the cards. There's a picture of the card, there are some, some keywords, and then it goes into detail and describes the cards, how you can use them to for readings, you know, to describe a person, the playing card association, a description of the card, the meaning of the card. Spirit, uh, spiritual readings and then we have the dark and light aspect which is really cool because in this book you can find you know not only if there's a positive card the positive meaning but it what may it may also mean if it you know lands on a position where it has to describe something uh, negative in your life or if there's a negative card in what way you can see it as a positive card so this is really good uh, then we have spell use, if you're doing spells, an affirmation for every day, you know, if you draw a, a day, uh, you know, a day for, um, a card for a day, uh, you can get an affirmation too. And there's also deities connected with uh, the cards. In the back of the cards there are spells you can do with the cards and also spreads. And it's all really beautifully designed. No, no, yeah, there's a spread, for example. It's really beautifully designed and really worth the book. It's worth. It's really worth buying the deck for the book alone, for the guidebook. It's and it's you know it's a really pocket, really nice pocket size book. Top quality, really well done, really well done, because many. Publishers don't pay attention to that much to the book, but this book it's really cool. And here are the cards. This is the back of the cards. I don't know if you can see the light, the colors properly because the light is kind of funny today. Uh, let me see. I don't know. There's it's a, it is a yellow backing with this Celtic knot. It's really beautifully designed. I love it. And these are the cards now. Now, there are, sorry about that, there are, oh, there's 
I think the colors can be seen really quite good actually here so there's the back um, there are extra cards in this deck which you can use if you would like or leave out if you don't uh, so that way you can choose which card you are going to use and also you have a lot of uh, more possibilities for example there are two rider cards one male one woman one male one female uh, there are descriptions in the book for both cards and you can choose which one you want there's the bard there's the bardess because all the cards um, are acco designed according to the Celtic tradition there's the clover really beautiful and there's a coin a golden coin in here so clover which represents luck and you get your luck no money away so yeah there's the ship really beautiful look at the detail the house and there's a Celtic house lovely there are two tree cards the oak king and the holy king which you can use personally I um, I'm using this card for uh, in the time zone between um, the um, between Ostara and um, uh, Lunasa you know between uh, um, 21st of March and 21st of September and in the winter time I'm using um, this card that's but that's me here we have the clouds I love that there's a dark cloud and the uh, white cloud two snake cards one more aggressive which is this one and one which is representing change also and in the book you can also get a description about the moon which you can see on the cards and how to use the cards properly here we have the burl the mountain because the, in the Celts they didn't have uh, coffins they buried their uh, dead in these constructions let's say in this burning site so yeah that's really make it's really making sense it's a beautiful card the flowers the scythe beautifully made you can feel the summer and I love that there are no borders in this deck now this is also very beautiful there are three birds cards this is what this are the birds one for the maiden according to the moon chicken if you like which can also represent this kind of you know chit chat and uh, a lot of communication and talks and everything and the owls which are also on the cover of the book the owls which represent wisdom and the crown really good there are also two child cards one girl and one boy and you can pick it uh, uh, which card to use according if you have a boy or a girl beautiful cards I love the artwork Will Worthington is amazing there's the fox which is you know trying to catch the fish and the funny thing is that you can use the next card the bear to create an image you know the bear is strong and gets the fish and the fox is trying to you know also get the fish so you get a complete image that's what I love about this deck too there's the stars amazing and you actually can see the stars stork and I love that it is kind of like a church and there's the Celtic cross down there so you get that you are in a Celtic tradition village here's the dog and there's also an extra card the cat according you know if you want to if you are a cat lover or a dog lover so yeah you can choose between those two cards really beautifully made I think both of them there's the tower Now there's the garden, which is one of my favorite cards in this deck. You know, it's like a picnic in the summer, in late summer. And there's, you know, you can feel that you're in summer. The mountain. 
the roads really beautiful I love those standing stones mice cute the heart now some people say they're you know they have tiny issues with the card with this card because there's the heart you know and it's kind of small but according to the all to the card but um, it really works for me there's emotion there's the water and the heart it, it has all has to do with emotion there are also clouds and you know that's emotions that's emotions really good the ring which in this case it's the hand fasting and I really love it there's a male hand it's the male hand and a female hand and there's also a ring too so I love this card this it shows this togetherness you know even if you if you uh, interpret it as a contract you know you shake hands so yeah there's a book love it and it's a wooden book because they didn't have they didn't use paper back then to make books so and it's a closed book about secrets and wisdom the letter and the Ocam uh, alphabet is being used and it's it's stunning this card is amazing really beautiful you can see how beautiful th these cards are there are two male cards you can choose from and there are also two female cards two women cards you can choose from and the cool thing is that if you get those two together you create one image again Oh, there are, they are the other half of each other and also on um, these two cards there's your image really cool that's what I love about this deck too the lilies there's the sun and you can feel the heat it's a summer day the moon Shining over the sea, really beautiful card. The key, and I love how they put the Celtic tradition on each card. Fish, the anchor, and the cross. Yeah, this is the deck, and it's as I said, I love you and seeing it. It's my favorite uh, Lenormand deck, and it really works well together. So if you get a reading, for example, you can see how the cards work. There's, for example, a three card spread, or even better, let's create a nine card spread. It's not the way I'm laying out normally the cards, but just to create the reading let me get you a nine card spread so there you go oh we got the two the couple so you can see how those cards look together in a reading it they are really beautiful and they are so accurate and you can see how it all works really good all together it's a stunning deck I if, if you love Lenormand and if you um, thinking of buying another deck and if you are into Celts even if you are not into Celts you can see this the image is stunning get this deck it's worth it believe me it's a, an amazing deck I'm using it all the time and um, I'm really happy with getting it so yeah hope you enjoyed the review uh, as I said the book is amazing too everything in this that has to do with this deck is top quality guys so yeah that's the Celtic Lenormand and hope you like it if you get it would love to see more videos of you on uh, this deck Enjoy yourself, guys. Uh, have a nice day and um, talk to you soon. Bye bye.